Hey folks, it's Julie Gold again, and I wanted to hop on and record a short video because I've been thinking about how uh, shame can pop up at the most unexpected times. So recently I was uh, being interviewed on the radio and we were talking about my work as a health and wellness coach. And, you know, early in the program, the host was asking me questions about my credentials and my story and like, how did I get into this work? And during that segment, I mentioned that in my late 20s, I was 60 pounds overweight and I lost that weight through healthy diet and exercise. And her follow-up question was like, did you do that on your own or did you follow one of the diets that's out there like Atkins or Weight Watchers? And her question was totally benign. She was just asking me, how did you do it? But it triggered in me this well of shame because even though it's been 16 years since I lost that weight, there's a little part of me that feels like I should be able to do it on my own. And as I was sitting there, I had this debate like raging in my head and I, it's amazing how fast your brain can work. And I was thinking, do I, do I share my story? And the fact that I, I used Weight Watchers and continue to use Weight Watchers as one of my tools, or do I blow it off and, and uh, just kind of get on with the interview? And actually, I made a joke to buy myself a little time while I had this debate. And I realized in that moment that if I didn't share my honest story, that I would be betraying one of my core tenets as a coach, and I would be contributing to a much bigger problem in our society. And that might sound like a lot for like a simple question on a radio program, but the reality is I truly believe it is wise to ask for help. And to be successful, you're going to have to find the tools that work for you. And Weight Watchers has been one of the tools that works for me. I'm also a runner and a cyclist and I do meal prep and there are a number of things that have contributed to, to a successful lifestyle change. Weight Watchers is one of them. And, and so I, I shared um, my story and, you know, we went on with the interview and afterwards I've been kind of sitting with like a little shock of how much that has popped up and the shame that I felt in that millisecond. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm a Weight Watchers member. They have a social media component to their program and I'm certainly not the only one who feels this way. Oftentimes there's a lot of discussion around how much and to the lengths that people go to hide the fact that they're on Weight Watchers from their family and friends and sometimes even their spouse. And it's certainly not only Weight Watcher members who feel this way. You know, we live in a society that expects effortless perfection. We should be bikini ready at any moment. And yet we see Doritos and beer commercials all the time and we view needing to lose weight as some type of moral failure. And frankly, it's crap. And it's not surprising that a lot of us carry shame around needing to make healthier lifestyle choices. And so one of the reasons I wanted to pop on today was to acknowledge that for those people who are really trying hard to make healthy lifestyle changes, there's often a lot of shame and pain that goes into it. And as a society, we need to change that. And that change starts with me and it starts with you. And so I invite you to stop letting shame keep you stuck and start being proud, damn proud, that you're asking for help and you're discovering the tools that work for you. If this video uh, made sense to you, you, you thought it was interesting, I would love it if you would share it with someone else that you think might uh, also benefit from hearing this message. Thanks a lot, and until next time, be well.